Hi, and welcome to Heat Software's short video series on getting started with service management. I'm Rob Kelsall, and I'm joined by my colleague, Alan Taylor. Now, in the previous session, Alan, we saw the Heat Center of Excellence and how that enables customers to get up and running very fast and with minimal services. Um, in this session, Alan's going to be showing you the out-of-the-box experience with Help Desk. So, over to you, Alan. Thanks, Rob. You know, many service management vendors would have customers believe that an effective ticketing system is only possible through vendor-supplied implementation services in order to configure that tool to a list of requirements. You know, in, in truth, however, that's because their solution is not complete enough to use out of the box, or that without implementation services, customers really can only use a light version. It ends up being weeks or months before customers can take full advantage of their solution. Too often we see these slick features or the cool interfaces that are seen in demonstrations in truth are only available after weeks or months of effort and that's really only found out after the solution has been purchased. At Heat Software we have seen and really our customers are confirming this that the demand for a full featured out-of-the-box solution that leverages best practices with little to no requirements around implementation services is a trend that is experiencing exponential growth. Uh, he was to strive to deliver on this demand by providing a help desk solution that delivers capabilities such as self-service and service catalog as well as incident, problem, and knowledge management capability usable right out of the box. And of course we give customers a little bit of leeway Maybe they want to change the colors to their corporate color scheme or brand it with logos. But by and large, the solution is intended to be stood up, day one, usable, so the customers can begin to realize the benefits of their investment. From a self-service perspective, customers might search for answers to questions, looking through knowledge base or frequently asked questions. They may gain insight into what's going on in the environment or perhaps be notified of upcoming changes through announcements. They may want to go ahead and get a status update on an incident or a service request that they logged. Or they might want to log an incident. And he provides many templates right out of the box that customers can use that eliminates all the keystrokes that an end user might have to type. And this really removes one of the biggest barriers to self-service adoption, making it simple and easy to use. Service Catalog delivers on this promise as well by providing over 70 pre-authored service request offerings ranging in services offered by IT, human resources, facilities, finance, and really any service provider throughout the organization. Customers can very easily take advantage of Service Desk services as well leveraging some of the templates that are there in order to report issues. We could leverage again a template or we could simply look at one that's not there as a template but that the customer can go ahead and enter detail in. They may gain insight into self-help or self-healing capability through object matching, looking for frequently asked questions or knowledge base articles that try to find the answer to their question. But if not, they can simply go ahead save that record, submit it to the service desk, and they move on. Minimizing any and all keystrokes is a key efficiency gain uh, when we're looking at adopting a self-service solution. On the analyst side, being able to leverage a tool right out of the box that lets me do things like manage my day by helping me understand what alerts and major issues might be going on in the environment. What do I have to do with regards to tasks? What about those incidents that I logged that someone else is working on, but if the customer calls, I'm the liaison. We can also gain insight into those tickets that logged through self-service, through email, or social interaction, or other methods to where I can begin to take a look at that particular incident, gain insight into who logged it, perhaps categorize and classify, again, through best practices, being able to categorize and classify incidents is key and really promotes the ability to automatically route issues around. Gauging anywhere from impact 
urgency values lets me go ahead and, as an analyst, better uh, determine uh, where we need to place this incident. Of course, every solution is going to make sure that we capture all the data points re required. So in this case, at the click of a button, we can go ahead, assign that to me, and off we go. I might want to see if anyone else has experienced this issue. So let's again look to our object matching to try to find an answer or a resolution through knowledge base articles, problems, and incidents. If none of these yield a result, we could, if we needed to, go ahead and very quickly take best practices and generate a problem record that can be used for further root cause analysis. A click of a button transfers information over from the incident. I might want to select some other information, perhaps adjusting from the default values. And then, of course, independent urgency and impact values let me go ahead and classify the problem independent from the incident. Alerts and notifications and other detail that was sent to the customer can easily be viewed at any time in any attachments or other details all accessible from a single screen. As we see here, a help desk solution that's used right out of the box, leveraging best practices with no implementation services can add rapid time to value for customers, letting them maximize their investment. Thanks, Alan. And thanks for joining us on this short session on Help Desk. Please do join us on the next session where Alan will be showing you the out-of-the-box experience with Service Desk.